Um, polynomials, the graphs of polynomials, um, we can get from looking at some, some base functions here. And the base functions that we're going to look at are the power functions. And so uh, this first one here, this is just y equals uh, x, y equals x, which of course is x to the 1. Okay. This is a line. We're very familiar with those, what they look like, and how to work with them. This next one, we have a parabola. This is y equals x squared. Okay. This next one is a cubic, and this is y equals x cubed. Okay. And as we continue on, we are just raising the power on x each time. This is y equals x to the fourth. This is y equals x to the fifth. Now, we could keep going, uh, but going this far, we see the pattern. Notice that our even powers of x um, kind of have this basic u shape, okay, the, of the parabola. Uh, of course, the x to the fourth, it looks a, a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know how you want to describe that, but I would say it's a little bit boxier, right? It's a steeper here and then a quicker turn down here, and then uh, and does the quick turn again going up, right? And, uh, and as we increase our exponents and have... Uh, even exponents, so x to the 6, x to the 8, they're all going to have this general shape, but they get steeper and, uh, steeper, and steeper here and a, a sharper turn um, as we increase those exponents. And we have a similar thing happening with the odd exponents. Okay, They have this same general shape, um, and as we increase the exponents, again, it gets a little bit boxier, right? A little steeper and then a uh, sharper turn, uh, sharper turns here. And so knowing just these basic graphs here, we get an idea of all the different power functions, x raised to any exponent, we, uh, any, uh, I should say, non-negative integer um, exponent, we would know kind of what the graph looks like.